So iOS 16 introduces a brand new lock screen with a million ways to customize it. So here's how you can personalize your lock screen in iOS 16. Now first off, when you boot your iPhone, you are at your normal lock screen. So hold on it and now you have the option to customize it or add new pages or new lock screens and customize them. It's very familiar to Apple Watch faces, so if you have used that, you'll be at home with this one. So simply click on the plus button to add a new lock screen page and you're taken to this page, which again is familiar to the Apple Watch Faces page. So first off, we have a weather and astronomy one, and this one is really amazing because you have this full view of the Earth, and then you have one for the moon, a different one for the moon, a solar system, and this one for Earth, which basically expands when you unlock your iPhone. So all of these look really amazing, but especially this one because of time, it basically blends into the Earth, and it looks really nice. Now the other one is the emoji one, which somehow kind of looks really cool because you can customize it. You have different sizes for the emojis and you can choose your own emojis. It's up to six and you have a few different ones in here and you can just choose any one you want. And you have this like really cool kaleidoscope effect. So there are a few different options to choose from, but my personal favorite is the one with the color because this one comes with a bunch of different gradient colors. So first off, you can just simply change the color and you can change the hue of the color. And then you can basically make it more saturated, darker, or lighter. And all of these look really great because you can basically pinpoint the exact color you want. You want a pastel color, you can go for that. And if you swipe across, it gives you different gradient effects. And all of these, again, look really amazing. So let's go with this one and let's start by adding widgets or complications. So just click on the plus button right here and we have a few different ones. Now, at the moment, there are only a few of them and all of them are basically the stock applications, but in the future we'll have third-party support as well. So you have this weather one, we have sunrise, temperature, the UV index, and you can just simply click on it to add it, or you can just drag and drop them if you want. And then again, I said, you only have a few of them, but all of them look really nice and they kind of embed really nice with the lock screen. And you can also put your batteries, basically your Apple Watch battery or AirPods batteries, and it makes it more convenient to have them here. And you can just simply glance over your lock screen to have a look at them. But the best part is fonts because now you have six different fonts to choose from and I wouldn't be surprised if Apple brings in more fonts in the future developer versions or if they basically extend it to third party in the future. And you can also change the colors on these things. So this is really amazing. You can even choose a particular color. And again, all of this looks really nice and gives you way more control and customizability than we ever had on a lock screen in any iOS version. So this is a big step up from all the previous iOS versions. You can even change the top bar here. You can add an alarm, basically your stocks. Again, this is pretty limited as of now with all the applications, but we'll definitely see more and more support from different applications in the coming few weeks and in the coming few developer versions. So all of that is really nice. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it with the lock screen. And you can go ahead and try out on your own because there are a ton of ways to configure them and you can just customize the exact thing and get the lock screen that you like. But that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and stay tuned for more because a lot of iOS 16 coverage is coming really soon. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Until then, peace.